The political battle over DACA has been heated for years. In 2017, President Trump's administration stopped accepting applications for the DREAMers program that allows children brought to the United States illegally to stay. Hello? Hey, Emily, it's Brian. Yes. I just wanted to let you know we're at the McDonald's. We're in a white Tahoe parked right next door. Finding undocumented young people to talk openly is challenging for obvious reasons. Hi, nice Hello. to meet you. But one 21-year-old Tampa woman was willing to meet us at this McDonald's. So tell me a little bit about you. You were, you were born in Mexico? I was born in Mexico. I was brought when I was four, back in uh, November of 2004. Um, I was brought with my mom, my sister, some uncles and um, cousins. Emily Perez has spent the last 17 years of her life in America. She was an ROTC in high school and graduated with honors, all while living in the shadows. I run the risk of, if I drive, getting stopped by a police and them telling me, oh, you're going to get deported, either me or my mom. I could be home, she could be going to work or anything, and I run with that fear that she's going to call me and tell me, hey, I'm being deported. What am I going to do with my brothers and sisters? That's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. It really is. I do, actually, I do. I get emotional just speaking about it because I know what I've been through, and nobody would really understand how I feel or how others feel being here undocumented. Emily showed us where she lives with her mom and younger siblings. The two youngest, four and five years old, were born here and are U.S. citizens. And soon Emily hopes to be in the country legally, too. Last week, a federal judge ordered the Trump administration to restore DACA and start taking applications again. Many Republicans are not against restoring DACA, but also want enhanced border security. I think DACA, of all of the immigration issues, is the easiest to solve if we want to solve it, and particularly if we're willing to solve it as a standalone issue, so we'll see how that goes. Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar's Texas district is along the U.S.-Mexico border. I don't believe in open borders. Uh, I believe in law and order. I represent a district, and I know my constituents don't want to just open up the border for anybody. But, but in this particular case, you know, we want to make sure that we're helping uh, the young ones that came over here. Sometimes not a fault to them, you know, I mean, it's, it's the parents that brought them over here at a young age. What do you say to people who say, look, this is a clear cut issue, they're here illegally, and they have to go? Well, you know, it's really not that, that clear cut, because remember, they were brought here, uh, they were brought here at no fault to them. Emily is anxious to finally apply for DACA so she can enroll in college. Now with everything happening, I know that I myself and my whole family is going to be proud of me because I'm going to be the first one to actually go to college and become some somebody in life.